Hello, my name is Charles Martin. I'm with Literati Press Bookshop. We are inside our closed to the public bookstore until all of this passes. We have been for a little while now, but we've still been supported by our wonderful customer base. Thank you so much for all your orders. Uh, thank you also so much for just being cool with the fact that we're still trying to figure out how to do a mostly online business, actually right now exclusively online business. We are just Make, make and do with what we can. I've got my wife and my baby here because we're all working from home. And so with all that said, we're going over some of our favorite books. I'm gonna do read a little bit of passages from them because I think they're definitely worth your consideration if you wanna buy them. You can go on our website, literatipressok.com. You can shoot me a message through any social media at Literati Press. Um, or email me at charles at literatipressok.com. If we don't have it in stock on our website, I can always order a copy and have it direct, shipped directly to you. You can also look at bookshop.org through the American Booksellers Association. So, with no further ado, we are doing Shrill by Lindy West. So, you may have seen the Hulu show. Uh, she is, this is her collection of essays, and they are so good astonishingly good, really searing and funny. And one of my favorite essays of all time is here. It's called How to Stop Being Shy in 18 Easy Steps. I'm not gonna read the whole thing because it's eh, a little lengthy, but uh, just to give you a little bit of a taste. So, how to stop being shy in 18 easy steps. Don't trust anyone who promises you a new life Pickup artists, lifestyle gurus, pyramid scheme, face cream, evangelic, and evangelists, evangelists, haha, evangelists, weight watch, watchers, coaches, these people make their living off your failures. If their products lived up to their promise, they'd be out of a job. That doesn't mean, make, doesn't make the self-help economy inherently sinister or their offerings wholly worthless. It doesn't mean you can't drop five pounds by eating Greek yogurt under the nurturing wing of a woman named Tanya or lose your virginity thanks to the sage advice of an Uber driver in aviator goggles or help your cousin's sister-in-law earn her February bonus while adequately moisturizing your face for $24.99. We are all simply trying to get by after all. It's just that, sadly, there are no magic bullets. Asterix except for lean cuisine, French bread, pepperoni, pizza, pizza, which is an edible poem. Real change is slow, hard, and imperceptible. It resists deconstruction. Likewise, lives don't actually have coherent linear story arcs. But if I had to retroactively tease one essential narrative out of mine, it'd be my transformation from a terror-stricken mouse person to an unflappable human from a terror-stricken mouse person to an unflappable human vavuvuliza. That. The big horn. You know what I'm talking about. I wasn't shy in a cute, normal way as a kid. I was a full-blown Miss Piggle Wiggle plant radishes in my ears and leave me in the care of an impudent impudent parrot situation. I was clinically shy. Once in the first grade, I peed my pants in class because I was too scared to ask the teacher if I could go to the bathroom. When the class bully noticed the puddle between my feet, I pointed at a water pitch on the other side of the room and whispered that it had spilled just in one small discreet pool under my chair and also on my sock. And also the pitcher was filled with urine for some reason. Public schools, am I right? Pretty sure he bought it. So. Clumsily, Shrill by Lindy West. 